Hello and welcome back to Ant Oliver. Today we have our first video in a while and that's simply because we have been on hibernation break which means that the ants don't really do that much and also because I haven't really there haven't really been anything to update on. So here we have the Mesa colony. Um, the setup is pretty much unchanged uh, from last time except I emptied the outworld uh, so there wasn't sand all over the place because they keep getting stuck and couldn't really walk. So now it's just an empty plastic container the outworld is made of and which is just connected to the nest. Inside the nest the population is slowly uh, getting out of hibernation. The queen has laid a lot of eggs and uh, some of the eggs are already turning into larvae. So we, I'm expecting a big population explosion soon because I see a lot of eggs and a lot of larvae and even some uh, almost ready to hatch workers. So one of my favorite YouTubers uh, and YouTubers is called uh, Amazing Ant channel, Amazing Ants. He doesn't upload anymore sadly, but um, he inspired me to get these uh, Mesa Barbarians back, in, back when I got them last year. And he, uh, he gave them me uh, mealworms or food and different kind of insects every day. And I personally think it's a bit overkill, but you know I wanted the colony to start growing so I could really see some progress. So at the moment I give them a mealworm every day just to see how much it works and how much they want to eat. And to my surprise, every morning when I look they have actually turned, taken the new mealworms inside and start feasting on it and thrown the old uh, mealworms out. Um, sadly I didn't get a glimpse of that in this video because they are mostly up at night. It's very rare I see them uh, wandering at day. So here you can see the ant feasting on some of the mealworm. There's some different clips and if you notice there's also still a lot of seeds. And uh, I've just given them a bowl of seed outside in the outworld they can take off. I don't really know how much they have taken but I see them throwing out uh, trash every day. So I think, there's, so I think they're eating it. To be honest, I'm not really sure. Uh, at, when I first put it in, they took a lot of it, but now I think they're just happy that it's available, so if they want it, they can take it. But all in all, I'm really happy to see this colony starting to grow again. Uh, Mesa, the Mesa colony has been my favorite colony from right when I got them, because of the amazing ant channel, and um, it's been, he's really been an idol in getting this species because I really loved his videos. But now for the other colonies, the Lacius Niger colony uh, sadly died. I think the the weird stuff the, um, that was inside their nest before I moved them into a new nest was bad for them maybe and then the new nest was way too big and all in all they never really got the chance I wanted to give them and um, they died last year. Uh, I've been considering buying a new colony but I don't really, I didn't really miss them until I started looking at my videos uh, and saw seeing how much they actually were ready to explode in numbers. So I'm thinking uh, when it's queen season I will go hunt for some new lasers maybe. And um, my other queen, I can't, can't really remember what it was, she was called, something lasers umbretus or something. She never really, um, she never really survived. Uh, I, I was making a video of her and uh, trying to discover how she got eggs from Lacia's colonies and workers from Lacia's colonies to start off her own colony. Um, so I gave her some eggs and some Lacia's workers from the dying colony. But I don't know if that infected her or something, but um, she she never really survived. She just walked around in her nest. Um, I think she accepted the workers because they were living in the test tube she was living in, but she was never really home, so she never got a chance. And lastly, our Camponotus Vegas colony, which is um, it's still alive, uh, but there's not much to say. Uh, before the winter break there were 12 workers I think and now there are 9. And there's just around one every second month has just died out slowly. So there's not really anything to update and that's also why I'm not making a video of them. But when they start to grow again I'll for sure they make a video, but now they are 9. and. Uh, Still living in that test too, but uh, yeah, it's a Camponotus species and they're known for not growing very fast the first year. But um, hopefully they'll soon explode. So yeah, um, so that's been it 
for this video. Just a short update on the Mesa colony and just the other colonies. I post more frequently on Instagram, which I can't really say with my pride because before last week I didn't upload at all on Instagram, but that was because the ants were still very much sleeping. But some of the shots I've shown in this video will, is also on the Instagram, so if you want to see some more of the clips of the colonies without voiceovers, you can head to my Instagram, which is Ant Oliver. And yeah, so uh, I'll see you in the next uh, video. Hopefully it will be an uh, update on the Campanotas, which are starting to explode, but who knows. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and yeah, see you around.